Yeah, yeah. So I saw you uh, put it up online for sale, and uh, I was just trying to get some other basic information about it and see if we could. Uh, we we're interested in buying it. You're, you're interested in purchasing? Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, so, I mean, ask me your questions. I can tell you a little bit about it. What do you want to know? Oh, okay. Because I was looking online and I didn't see any pictures, or anything on there. Is it in pretty good condition and things like that, or? I'm sorry. I just needed you on my phone. Did you see it on Zillow or did you see it on Nextdoor? Uh, I saw it on Zillow, or maybe they just. Oh, okay, didn't cool. Put I, just posted, I just posted it. I just posted it from through. It might still be in the process of posting the pictures. I'll, I'll do it this. Oh. Um, so it's a three. Yeah, it's a three bed, two and a half bath with an unfinished basement. It's uh, thirteen hundred and eighty six square feet. Um, we bought it less than two years ago, or maybe because my husband's just things up. So we love this house, put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, it was built in 2001, so it's still fairly new. Um, hardwood flooring, bamboo flooring in the main level. Um, it's, let's see, it's got tiling in the kitchen. It's in really good shape. Um, it has a new... New roof, new AC in the last two years, um, all new stainless steel appliances. Uh, we just put in a black aluminum fence around the entire area. It's one of the biggest lots in the neighborhood. It has a pretty large backyard with some nice landscaping, a fire pit, a deck that we just rebuilt. We're working on staining it this week if the weather holds off. Um, unfinished basement, like I said. Um, Washer and dryer is also brand new and is negotiable in the sale. Um, upstairs, there's three bedrooms. There's a master with a master bathroom connected to it. Hardwood flooring in the master bathroom. Um, a bathtub and a shower. Uh, then it has two other rooms and then a common bathroom there. Half bath on the main level as well. Wow, sounds um, like a perfect house, huh? Yeah, it is. It's great. So you said you're uh, selling it because you're moving for a new job or something like that? Yeah, we're moving out of the state. Oh, wow. Well, that'll be fun. No more St. Louis yeah. for you, huh? Correct. All right. And so um, does it need any type of repairs or things, or is it just uh, pretty much in good shape all the way around? No, it's pretty much in good shape. I mean, there's obviously always stuff that you can repair um, that it, it's getting to that point where it you know, needs a nice wash. We're planning on power washing it before uh, before the new owners take over. But other than that, it's really in great shape. Great, great. So if we were able to work out everything, how soon would you like to close? Uh, we're planning on July. You say when? So t July 1st is our hope. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you got plenty of time. Well, I guess, what's this, May, June, July? So, it's 60 days, basically? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We usually get them uh, wrapped up sooner than that. But, yeah, so it sounds like a pretty decent house here. Let's see. No repairs, pretty much. The unfinished basement. Is that a walkout basement there? It's not. Okay. So, we couldn't make bedrooms or anything down there, huh? Correct. I mean, you could, but... They wouldn't really count for it, yeah. Okay. And you say you've been there yeah. about two years. And uh, also, um, let's see here. We got Fed. And uh, have you thought about just listening with a real estate agent or something like that, or you just want to sell it yourself? I, I'm already talking to a real estate agent. So we're just trying to. Right, right. So, yeah, so basically, like I said, my name is Chris, and uh, basically what we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. Um and uh, so we try to make a you know smooth transition for you and the family so you can move on to your new place and uh, start a new life, I guess. Um, I wanted to ask you this. Would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full? No, we want to pay it off in full. We're using it as a down payment for our next house. So you need to pay it off all full. So you, the only way you'll sell it is all cash. Is that correct? Okay, yeah, because we do have a program where we help people as well, you know, where we can actually get the house, you know, buy the house, pretty much take over the payments and things like that. It's where you don't have to worry about that house anymore. I guess um, something like that you all wouldn't be open to? Yeah, no. 
Not at this time. Okay. So what I'll do is, um, I guess, is it okay if I just check back with you in about a month or so and see if it's still available and see if we can work something out then? Yeah, let me know. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they owe about a hundred and ninety nine thousand. So they owe two hundred and want to sell it for two fourteen. And, and they just bought it two years ago. And so you can't. I mean, that's not a cash offer on this. So I don't even. I ain't even gonna throw that at them. I'm gonna. Let, they just put it up online about thirty minutes ago as a Fisbo for sale by owner. But nevertheless, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Luke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. What's up, Trail STL? What up, Kevin? What up? What up, what up, what up? Where's Paul at? What's up, Maxine? What's up, Corey? See you all. I hope you're having yourself a great day. Um, tonight, about an hour from now, I'll be on with Aaron Bevins. Matter of fact, here you go. Bloop. Let me flip that around. Bloop. Flip screen. We'll be on with Aaron Bevins tonight at 7.30 Central Time. Talking about how to play Monopoly in real life and win. So I was trying to play some Monopoly right there with that house, but um, like I say, she owed too much on it. And uh, they weren't, they're not really open to taking terms on it. And they don't have any pictures or anything up. It's like a generic listing here on Zillow. It just shows the map. Huh? So, that's so why I'm like, y'all don't have any pictures or anything up? Even though it's been up for sale about 40 minutes. And usually I don't like to call the people when they just popped it up. Because I actually looked up her uh, information before I even called her. So I can see about how much they owe and things like that. And uh, so basically that's what it is. That deal won't go through to the finish line. Not like that. We can't buy a house for all cash for retail price. No way to do it. No way to even think about doing it. Don't even put it on the numbers on your lips. Only two ways you're going to make money in the business pretty much when you're buying. You're going to buy it at a discount for all cash. Whether you're going to buy it and close on it yourself or lock it up under contract and sell it off as a wholesale cash deal to some end buyer, some other third party. That's one way. The second way is if you can buy it on terms. If you can buy it over time, a length of time, you can pay a little bit more for it because you're paying payments versus a huge chunk of money like $214,000 like she's asking for this house. Two fourteen nine, three bedroom, three bath in a great area of St. Louis. Um, but we can't touch that house, not as a cash offer because um, we would be offering more like $140,000, something like that. And they owe over that, so that won't do them any good. And they're not that motivated right now. That's why, like I said, I usually don't try to offer or do any. I mean, I really want to offer them, but I don't usually try to um, pin them down too hard on a, a fresh thing because they're uh, motivated right now. They just put it up. They don't have any real motivation. Now, when you look on Zillow or something, you see people that have been up for 90 days, 120 days, 150 days, forever. You're like, man, they've been trying to sell that house for a while. Let's give them a call. See if we can help them out. Those people are usually more susceptible to working out a creative terms deal with you. Although we've had people say yes to terms that just posted it up. So that's why we always go ahead and shoot that shot. What's the worst thing they can tell you? No. For, worst thing they can tell you is, nah, man, we ain't doing it. We need the money for our down payment for our new place. Like she said. She said that's what they need a down payment. You know, and if they're not even open to it, plus she said we, meaning her and her husband, which when I looked it up, let me see here. Is it two people on here? Nope, there's only her name on here, so I don't know, maybe it's just her. She said we, maybe it's just her and some kids. But I'm thinking it's got to be a full family, three bedroom, three bath, only been in the house a year and nine months. Who knows? So yeah, actually there are some pictures on here, but not on Zillow. It's, it's not good pictures, but it's pictures. That's, that's one of the best pictures they got. That, a stump in the backyard, and the backyard itself. That's the only three pictures they got, which don't give me anything. Don't really tell me nothing. But she said they did upgrades on it, and it's the largest lot on the block. The largest lot on the block. That don't mean I'm paying large money, because they just bought it for 100 and uh, What did they buy this house for? 196 and uh about two years ago they bought it for 196,000 they lived in it for almost two years 
They said they've done a few little updates here and there. They put a new roof on it and all the other stuff she named out. And she said that she's going to, um, they've, uh, you know, did all this work to it. And so they want to get the money for the down payment. So nothing I can do with them. What I can do, though, is get back on the hunt and smoke another blunt. No, I'm just talking. I just want to say that. That rhyme. <laughs> get back on the hunt and smoke another blunt. Don't you be using them type of rhymes. Even though I don't smoke. Do I seem like I need to smoke? Do I need a hit or something? So there we go. Let's see if we can find another one out here. So all I was look up on Zelda, see if there were any for sale by owners just listed. Um, let me see if I can find another one. Any questions about any of that there? Any of that there? What's up, TJ? How's it going? Happy Tuesday to you. Um, what happened here? Good night. Go back. Yeah, and I'm waiting on three people to sign contracts and send them back right now. Smoke and toke. That's right. <laughs> Let me see here. So for sale by owners. We only want for sale by owners. Here's one. And it's only been up an hour. This is a fresh house in a good area. So I don't know if they're going to be motivated. So what I do is go check them out first. Let me see. It might be some pictures on. You want to see the photos? Hey, Chris, the skip tracing across the country. Yes, it's uh, that skip tracing, woke skip tracing dot com. You can get fast, accurate data, phone numbers and email addresses. And you only pay per match, not per search, per match. Anything that's matched, you can get as low as 15 cents per match. Anything that wasn't found, no email addresses, no phone numbers, you don't get charged for it. It sends you back like a small um, refund, like maybe a couple bucks, whatever it is. And there's no minimums or anything. So you can do a list of 10 or a li list of 10,000. Um, WokeSkipTracing.com. That's what you want to use for that. So let me show you here for this house. This is the house I'm looking at right here that I'm about to call. Looks like a pretty decent little, little something. It just came up an hour ago, so it's fresh. Like I said, I normally don't like these, but I'm going to try anyway. So it looked like a decent little house. Everybody, look at that. It's only been up for one hour. It's got 136 views, and it has been saved seven times already within an hour. Already. So you want me to get them a call and see if we can buy this house or not? So first, I'm going to go look them up see some information on them. See if I'm even going to be talking to the owner or who am I going to be on the phone with. Paste and what I do on that is go to wokesource.com, wokesource.com to get that. Uh, can you use just the address? Yeah, you can, but it's usually the best to have as much data as possible because it'll get you a better and more accurate reading at wokeskiptracing.com. So, yeah, you can use the address and it'll tell you the owner and stuff. Usually, the mailing address is usually best from what I understand. But if you go on there, it's got some full details and break it all down. WokeSkipTracing.com. I think the link is in my bio here on Instagram, I hope. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it is. What marketing strategy is working best for you during the pandemic? Well, all of them work, to be honest. Um, the one I would like to ramp up some more is the bandit signs. Bandit signs. Hey, bandit, bandit. What up, Andrea? What you do? Change your name again? You not Ari Andrea no more, or you got more than one, uh, more than one uh, IG? How many IGs you got? A lot. I got three or four. Wait a minute. I got five IG pages, but they're for businesses. How many IGs you got? A lot. <laughs> you own Andrea Dot Stakes instead of R E Andrea. So yeah, that's um. But as far as the marketing, all of them work. It's just being consistent. Just keep talking to people, keep touching people, keep asking questions. Um, whether you're pulling lists, that's one good thing. Um, that's one good thing to do it. Um, or whether you're doing band signs where they're calling you. Or whether you're doing um, FISBOs for sale by owners. Because some of these people really want to sell and they don't know any other, other way to do it. And why would somebody do it for sale by owner anyway? I mean, when you think about it in general, why would you be doing a FISBO? Most people do what? They want to sell the house. Listed with the real estate agent. So I always ask every person we come across, have you ever thought about just listening with a real estate agent or something like that? And they usually say, oh, no, I'm going to try it. Or, oh, I'm talking to one. Maybe I want to do it. And you never know. So I let them tell me why they're not 
conforming to the norm of listing it with the real estate agent. So one reason people do it, they think they can sell it themselves and they want to keep all the money. Two, some people think that oh, man, that real estate commission, I owe about what the house is worth and I won't be able to pay that real estate commission at 6% or whatever it is in your market. So they think that they can save on it by selling it themselves, which that's correct. Um, and sometimes people just feel like, oh, I just don't want to deal with real estate agents. I've been dude over in the past about dude over and blued over. I flew out by real estate agents. So they want to do it themselves. So when they come across a person like me, they're knowledgeable. They know how to talk, they talk, and walk, and walk, and lock them deals up and get them to the finish line. They're like, oh, man, let's do it. And we typically pay the closing costs as well if we can get a deal with somebody on terms. And when we can do it on terms, the goal is to get it for a little or nothing down. As low down as possible, if not nothing. We usually buy with nothing down. Let's see here. I need to hire someone like you for cold calling. Not me, because I don't really cold call. This is the most calling I'm going to do today. And I'm only going to do about another one or two of these, really. And I just thought I would pull up the live so you all can see it in action. Uh, I asked because in Utah, can I look up the address? It says owner's easy. Hmm, in Utah, what is that, a non-disclosure state or something like that? I asked because in Utah, I cannot look up the address owners easy. Have you tried WokeSource.com? Get your free seven-day trial where you can actually look up nationwide data at WokeSource.com. Have you tried that? Because uh, it's all these states, data, you pull absentee data, property, uh, vacant house data, MLS data, whether it's on MLS, off the MLS, pending, things like that. Have you tried that, Paul? Where's Paul at? Have you tried that? In Utah. Yeah, out there with Mitt Romney. I don't like the president. He's not good. I'm going to vote to impeach him, even though everybody won't. <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Did I miss a question? So, yeah, that's cool. There. So, yeah, um, so this person, I'm coming up really quick. Quick, let's see. Um, the owner is one person. They're, they live in the house, and they've been there for I don't know how long. Let's see something here. No, I haven't. But, yeah, try for free, WokeSource.com. It should be a link in the bio or in the description uh, on my page, WokeSource.com. It's the easiest way to pull so much data, more leads than you can even process. You can't process them, like straight up. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to say that we get more leads than we can even handle. And that's bad. Because, I mean, you got to remember when you get the leads, you got to skip trace them, WokeSkipTracing.com. Then you got to take the time to whether you text message them, cold call them, ringless voicemail them, email them, snail mail them. You can touch them in multiple ways. You got to touch them to see, one, do they even want to sell? If they do want to sell, take them through the rest of the process. Two, if they don't want to sell, you know anybody else looking to sell? We pay for referrals or whatever your process is for that. So, you know, and, and, and that's the whole thing. Having a good structure, having a good system can make all the difference and make this business so much easier for you and keep you on track. And a lot of people feel like, oh, I can do all this stuff for free and look it up on True People Search, which you can. I'm not going to say I found people's phone numbers and things like that on TruePeopleSearch.com for free. However, that's one offs. Do you want to go do that for one offs every time? Or you want to pull a list of 300 people, skip trace them all, contact them all. And it's a numbers game. How many people can you touch? How many people can you help? How many problems can you solve? That's going to make the difference in your bank account. Swell it up. Swell it up. Swell it up. Let's see here. So, what's up, Will? All right. Corey says, we've been doing a lot of SMS, but we haven't caught much success. A lot of sellers are either not wanting to sell, not ready to sell, or not wanting us to do an inspection because of the virus. That's fine. Don't that be the stopping point you put that in your contract see a lot of people talk about virtual wholesaling and virtual real estate and you know you talk to them it shouldn't be so you want to sell come into your house right now no talk to them on the phone get to know them be their buddy be their friend build rapport ask questions what's going on with the house i always say 50 questions if you can you should be asking at least 50 questions especially if you're doing creative terms deals you need to be asking a lot of questions and letting them people tell you about their life and then once you get them all like that, go ahead and put them on the contract subject to inspection or have them send you a video 
or whatever. You don't have to see the house to put it under contract. That's a myth. You do not have to see the house to put it under contract. Believe me, out of my first, what, 17 wholesale deals only met like three sellers. What I need to meet them for? I just need this paperwork signed, baby. Now that, that ain't even the paper. Let me get you a real contract. That's what I need you to do. Fill out this paid purchase and sales agreement. This one page purchase and sales agreement. Via DocuSign on one of those electronic signature services. That's what I need you to do. So don't let that be the stopping part. You know, just because it's a virus and all of that, don't let that stop you from putting them under contract and putting it out and say, hey, yeah, we close, you know, in some future day, 90 days out or sooner. Put extra time on it. You don't have to make that stop you from conducting business. And another thing with the SMS, a lot of people have been getting lazy with the text messages. They say, well, if they don't respond to the text, I'm done. No, you still need to call them people. You still need to ringless voicemail drop those people. You still need to email those people. You still need to snail mail those people. You still need to knock on the door of those people. Get an answer. Text messages is just one touch. Everybody don't respond to text messages. Plus, you got to remember that when you use SMS, most of the time, in fact, all of the time, it won't touch landlines. It's only touching people with cell phones. So if they got a landline, they didn't ever get your text anyway. Right? So text is just one touch. It's a powerful touch. Don't get me wrong. It's a powerful touch, but don't let that stop you. SMS, cold call, ringless voicemail, and all the other ones I named before. Do them all and get answers from these people. All the way up to leaving a note on the door or sending a mail or whatever you want to do. Get an answer. You either want to sell or you don't want to sell. And then if they do want to sell, take them through the process. If they don't want to sell, Put them in a follow-up or either ask them if they know anybody that wants to sell and you are paying for referrals. Add them to your um, bird dog team. Wouldn't that be better? Wouldn't that be gooder and gooder? Hope so. So let's see here. Oh, wow. So this guy here I'm looking up. They want $168,000 for this house. Hope that helped you out there. They wanted one hundred and sixty-eight five dollars for this house. His loan balance looks like it's about sixty-two thousand. Let me let you see what I'm seeing here. Hold on. Clip. They want about. They owe about sixty-two thousand on it. They bought it. They bought it for. Oh, wait, that's blurry. A hundred thousand. Back in um, twenty thirteen. Oh, that's where he's at. Yeah, yeah. No problem, Corey. Um, what'd you say here? Is ringless voicemail where it goes straight to voicemail? That's correct. We drop them all the time. And it's actually more effective most of the time than uh, text messages sometimes. Sometimes it can be. Uh, that's actually our first touch. Our first two touches is a ringless voicemail drop. We blast it out. It goes straight into their voicemail. It says, hey, yeah, uh, this is Chris. I was calling to see if uh, you were interested in selling your house. I'm not even sure if I got the right phone number or not. But if you are interested in selling, we buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. If you'd like to sell your house, please give me a call back at blank, 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 blank. You can text me on this number or call me. Either one is perfectly fine. Blank, 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 blank is the phone number. Again, my name is Chris, and I hope to speak to you soon. Have a great day. Boom. That's what my voicemail will sound like. They call back. Sometimes they call back and say, hey, yeah, man, I just missed a call from this number because they never listened to the voicemail. Sometimes they call back because I heard your voicemail and I don't want to sell. Leave me alone. How'd you get my number? Who the hell is this? Sometimes they call back and say, yeah, I like to sell. What you give me for it? I want $3 million for my house. Some stupid number they'd have made up. Smart alecky. The same jokers like we get on a text message is the same type of response you would get on that. But it's fast. Boom, 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 boom. I can weed out a whole bunch of people quickly. Quickly. Get them off my list. Then, after that voicemail is dropped, I can wait till the next day or so and then extract or export that list of people who have not responded. There's going to be a group of people who have not responded. I extract or export that list and put it into the next thing, whether it's cold call or whether it's text message campaign. And we move them on through the system just like that. So easy. If you got a system, it's only easy if you got a system. If you don't have a system, you're going to wonder why I can't keep up with this. So let's see here. How do you do that? So I have a system. Like I said, the link's in my bio. Actually, if you just want to know about every marketing system and strategy I use, go to WokeRealEstate.com. Go to the marketing page, and there's a full list of all the stuff I recommend for 
whether whatever kind of marketing you're doing, whether you're doing banded signs, text messaging, ringless voicemail drops, whatever you're doing, look on there, wokerealestate.com, everything you need, real estate. What's up, sunshine? How are you? Hope you're having yourself a great day. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so this guy here, this subject property I'm about to call, looks like a really nice house and uh now why they're selling and all that i'm not sure so i'm about to give him a call let me see did he leave a number on here i hope he did it's a fisbo for sale by owner oh they got one of these houses they've been trying to sell it for a minute they tried to sell it back in may of last year and it didn't sell they were trying to sell it for 176 See, that's why I like Zillow. See, some people talk bad about Zillow, but I'll be like, man, Zillow tell you everything, man. Don't talk bad about Zillow. So, see, they just listed it today for 168 right? Uh, previous to that, September 9th. This is going backwards from today going backwards. You see, they had it up for 169.5. They dropped the price a little bit. So, I don't know why they're selling or what their deal is, but as you see, going all the way back here to 2001, when they first bought it for 105 and then they tried to sell it in 2019 for 176 And if you notice, they've dropped their price down, down, down ever since. But like I said, the property, he only owed 62000 Unless there's another mortgage on there that I don't know about, which I'm going to ask and check because sometimes they can get a second mortgage. And you see the mortgage payment is 715 and things like that. So that's how we do it. And they own a warranty deed. So, yeah, we finna check something out real quick, quick, quick. Last call for me because, like I said, I'm about to go live with uh, with my guy Aaron Bevins here in about the next 30 minutes or less. That's tonight, 7.30 Central Time. I'll be out with my guy, How to Play Monopoly in Real Life. You can catch that inside of the, um, what is it, the Superhuman Wholesalers Facebook group or on Aaron Bevins' page. So we'll be going live with him here shortly. So I just thought I would make a call and connect with y'all before I roll. So let me call him real quick. If you do have any questions or anything, pop them in here. And I'll see if I can answer them before we get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. So let's call this owner here. The owner name was Hassan. Are they a Bosnian? Bosnian. So let's see here. Did they leave a phone number in here to call for this for sale by owner? This house is actually right down the street from me. I live in this area. <laughs> Okay, let's give him a call. Something going on with him, though, so I'm finna find out what's it about. Did this house? No, I don't look vacant. It looks like they living in it. It's got a finished basement. What's up, Corey Nicole? There she is. So, yeah, I'm gonna call this for sale by owner and see if we can work something out with him. Let's see, here we got the number. Let's see here. We're going to call him from the Pretty House line. We're going to record all calls for quality and training purposes. Let's get him on the phone and see if he's home or she. What was the name again? Hassan. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. Hi, yes, this is Chris. I was calling in regards to the house you just listed up uh, in Oakville. Yes, sir. I just listed maybe half hour ago. Oh, all right. Wow. So that was you just listed it a few minutes ago. So did I catch you at a good time? Yes. I'm just eating my fish, but the business is the first. I know that's place. right. <laughs> <laughs> you say business person, I can eat while we talk about it, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I know you like to know, young man. So yes, um, so what uh, I was uh, actually calling because I'm actually interested in buying the house, and it looks uh, pretty decent here. I guess it looks just like the photos on here and everything. Uh -huh. Are you are you an agent, maybe? No, I'm not a real estate agent. What we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. You buying house? You buying house for cash? Yes, sir. I'm probably the guy you've been looking for. Uh, and you, you're ready to pay the house 165000 You know, I'm not sure of that yet. I haven't ran any comps or comparables for it. Um, you say one sixty eight five. Uh, I did want to ask you, where did you uh, come up with that amount? Is that from the comps? 
No, no, I'm, I'm really asking, 165000 cash, you just, just really want to pay that? Or, 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 I mean? You know, I haven't even uh, did any research on it to see if that is a good price. So, um, you wanted 165 for it, is that what you're saying? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so that, that may be possible. Um, did the house need any repairs or anything that you're aware of? Nothing. No. All right. I was just like a back. Yeah. Right, right. Just really, yeah, everything, everything's done. Yeah. About uh, how old is I the mean, roof on it? The uh, roof is three years. I can, I can prove you. I can prove the paper. Insurance paid the $7,000 for the professional guys for 40 years. Uh, architectural uh, shingles. Yeah, I, I help paperwork. Oh, all right. Great, great. Yeah. So it sounds like it's a pretty decent yeah. house. What made you decide to want to sell it? Yeah, the reason for that because I'm moving. As soon as, as, soon as Corona is done, I'm, uh, I'm leaving the country. So uh, even if you buy with the cash, if you pay the full price, I can't give you that until uh, 45, 50 days, possibly two months closing. Because I have to do uh, all the stuff. Uh, I have uh, two trucks, two trailer uh, cars. So you're saying you would like to close them within the next two months? Is that what you're saying? Uh, uh, yeah, 45 days. 45 days it will be. I like to have a two months, but 45 days. Yeah, yeah, because when I touch where you're going to be moving? Going to the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Had enough of the yeah. UN, all right? here in St. Louis or still? Uh, yes, I have one grade, but this one, I just put new tent in uh, somebody what I know, I'm going to pay that, uh, some see, for CD, it's a two-bedroom house, uh, oh. this house will stay that. So it's already a tenant in that one? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. and then this one here that you just listed today, is this one, uh, are you still living there or that one's empty already? I'm, I'm sorry, say again? Uh, the one that you just listed today, is this, is it empty or is it, or somebody, are you still living there? Uh, no, I live in. Oh, okay. I live in. Okay. I live in. Great, yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the house, yeah. So let me, let me, ask, what was your name again? I didn't catch it. Hasso, H-A-S-O, Hasso. Hasso, okay, yes. And like I said, my name is Chris, and I did want to know, would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full? Uh, what do you mean a payment? What do you mean? I'm not that good in this, this business. What do you mean? Yeah, so um, it's just another, it's a way that we can buy your house where you can actually move in the time frame that you want. That 45-day time frame that you want should be no problem. We actually buy your house. We close yeah. through a real estate attorney, so you're protected in a deal. It's just like every, it's just like any other time you sell your house. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So you would take a monthly payment um, for it until you were paid off for it in full? Monthly payment, no, no, I mean, no, 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 not that. So you're saying the only way you'll sell it is all cash, is that correct? Yeah, it doesn't have to be cash. It could be cash or check, whatever you got. But 165. 165. And, I, uh, yeah. and is yeah. that the best that you I can do on it? This is 165. I'll fail tomorrow. I have a tomorrow at 6 o'clock. A lady with the agent, she's going to probably pay it full. She's qualified. And, uh, I mean... The house is still for sale. I can do nothing. I mean, she's coming tomorrow at 6. They have an appointment uh, with the agent. Yeah. Right, right. Well, you know, some banks are holding back on some of these loans and things, or, you know, holding back. So you never know. I mean, if it goes through, that's great. I mean, I, I wish you the best on that part. Um, but I was just asking about that. Um, you know, and that 165, is that the best you can do as far as pricing? Yeah, yeah. This, this, is, uh, this is the lowest that I can go. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hassan, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get some comps of comparable home sales in the area to see, you know, what we can actually offer you as far as an all-cash purchase, um, and then uh, I can get back with you, um, and we can make something work from there. Is that okay with you? Yeah, you will Yeah, you will know something uh, tomorrow after 7. If you call me tomorrow after 7, you will know something was going to happen tomorrow 6. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you, too. If we wanted to see the house, how do we go about taking a look at it? Right, right, right. But that's what I'm saying. If if I don't sell it, to, I mean, if I don't have a deposit tomorrow or something, call me tomorrow seven. Because you are second, in, second caller. Uh, she was first, and uh, she's got a, I mean, 
she make appointments. I mean, I cannot cancel that. But, you know. Right, right. That makes sense. That makes tomorrow, sense. Tomorrow seven o'clock. Yeah, so tomorrow seven. I will know something. Okay, so that's that's great. I understand yeah. that. So other than that, did you have any other questions or anything for me before I let you go? No, no, you're good. All right, like I said, my yeah. name is Chris, and I'll uh, get back with you soon. Thank you. Okay, Chris. Thank you much, Chris. Bye bye. He dreaming. He getting up down 165. I mean, he might. I don't know. I shouldn't say that because I didn't run any comps on this property yet. I know I ain't paying it because, like I said, last year, you know, and, I, and, and that's why I don't dig that deep in these things. I look at them and try to see. What do you think about that car? Do you think he was motivated at all or not really? What do you think about that guy? You think that was something or not really? He's, um, like I said, he's been trying to sell his house for a minute since last year. Excuse me. Since last year, he tried to sell it back in May for 176. It didn't sell. He tried. He didn't drop the price to 169. Then he dropped the 168. He put it up today for 168. And I telling me on the phone that I want 165. What do you want for the house, buddy? Take this hundred and move on down the street. I know I can get it going. You think he's open? Yeah, that's a nice house. Let me just let you in before I roll. So that's a pretty decent house. I mean, you know. But he hasn't been able to sell it so far. Why hasn't it sold already? Oh, I just listed it 30 minutes ago. I know you did. But why didn't it sell last year? Was it bad condition or something? Looked like a finished walkout basement there. It needs some updating. I can tell you that. Looking at it. I mean, it's a decent house and it's in a great area. It's out here in Oakville, South St. Louis County. But um, you can tell like all of that's not updated. Uh, they need some stainless steel in that kitchen, maybe. Three bedroom, two bath, 982 square feet. So you think he's open, Corey? Yeah, maybe. You know, he ain't that motivated yet, though. He said, no, no, I won't take a monthly payment. You like I had to drill him down on that monthly payment thing? He's like, no, no, cash, 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 cash. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like I said, I'm about to go get on live with uh, Aaron Bevins here in a few minutes. So I just want to come on here and touch base with the family. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I roll? That's a night right there, 7.30. Any more questions? Like I said, if you're looking for skip tracing, check it out. WokeSkipTracing.com gets skip tracing results, accurate, fast data, as low as 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. Only pay for the ones you, that we get an email and phone number for. No emails or no phone numbers, you no pay. Simple, simple. I think he thinks that the other person going to buy. Yeah, exactly. He thinks, oh, they're going to bring a real estate agent and they're going to buy. No. They might, I don't know. I should say it. You never know. They might put a contract on it. I want to put a contract on it, but I can't touch it for what he asking. I don't think. Let me see if I can run some real quick comps. Quick comps. Let's see here. Comp comps. Uh, let's see here. So he won 165. And the property was what? Three bedroom minimum, two bathroom, um, what was that? 960 square feet. And then let me put the date range to the last six months or so. So actually, that's what the houses are selling for over there. Let me let you see. Flip. MLS sold. 195, 170, 170, 160. And he asked some retail price. I can't touch the house for that. See, these are the houses that sold nearby. In fact, I have a house on Porter Road. My house, I have a house that I own on Porter, one of the comp properties. Not the same property, but on the street. <laughs> but yeah, those are some of the sold properties recently in the area. And uh, not happening. Damn, man, one, two of them sold three days on the market. I know that's right. So why don't he just list it with a real estate agent? That's what's going to end up happening. He's going to end up listing it. What's up, the property brother? What up, what up, what up? So any more questions or anything before I roll? Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe, S-E-L. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube. Don't forget the YouTube. 170 plus free real estate training videos to learn everything from the Ruta to the Tudor at your own pace. At Chris Monroe, S-T-L. I ain't. I I so I'll catch y'all on the next one. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you.
before you see me. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.